Good morning. Is your he- headphones good? Yeah, there they go. There we go. Yeah. Chris Willingham, good morning. Good morning. There you are. I'm, here I am. <laughs> we got to figure out this new. I moved. Yeah, I was gonna say we. I moved my office around, so we'll figure it out. But uh, Brian Neitch, good morning. Go. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Happy Wednesday, everybody. Welcome to our Bible study podcast, cover to cover. And here we are, Wednesday at 5:40 a.m. Central Time. Gentlemen, how did you sleep? How's your morning? What are you guys drinking? <laughs> Having a rock star, a rock star here. Oh, good. Nice. There you go. What kind of? Ooh, old school. Oh, the silver. Yeah, that's no, good. That's good. Yeah, those are good. <laughs> Only two hundred. What two two forty? Two forty. That's perfect. And nice. look at I'm drinking, Brian. Oh, I can't see. Coffee. Yeah. And it's yeah. your church's there coffee mug. Nice friendship. Friend church out of San Antonio, San Antonio. Texas. And I'm drinking. Um, Alkali water. Yes, so, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not boring. That's water right from the Jordan. <laughs> right. It's hey, yeah. wouldn't that be cool if we came up with a company, a water company? We could purify the water from the Jordan. <laughs> drink it. Yeah. It's literally water from the Jordan. <laughs> like somehow we take water from the Jordan. Yeah, yeah. And we say, we call it Jordan water. Okay, all right. You know, hey, it's actually kind of a good, people, yeah, if we brilliant idea. It, we just I, have to, you know, ship it over. <laughs> Yeah, how would that work? Do you think that would that would be restricted? You you couldn't do that. Yeah, they probably just not. You know, it'd really be cool is if we could find one of the rocks where the springs were that Moses, you know, like because there's still some springs from those rocks that you can you can see, mm. um, and get water from there. It'd be water from the rock. See, water. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe not. You know, the one that he got in trouble over. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What are the other ones? <laughs> I I feel that if you took water from the Jordan. Mm-hmm. Bottled it, labeled it, and sold it. Yeah, I feel like would. I'd be going to hell. People would. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the Lord would be very upset. Unless, like, ninety percent of the profit would go to, you know, um, a good cause. Right. You know, like we give. We of course. We well, would. a good cause is you know your family living and eating. That's a good cause. I mean, <laughs> I don't, I'd struggle with it though. Even if I made a little bit of profit after all the donations and the uh, and. You know, the good causes. I don't know. Yeah. Chase, Durham, Torres, good morning. What do you guys think? If you bottled water from the Jordan, Jordan. labeled it and sold it, I just don't know if I want to touch that. <laughs> I think you'd be fine. You think I'd be okay, yeah, Brian? I think you'd be right. Yeah. I, I think God doesn't care if you are American and own a sushi bar. <laughs> okay. That's true. <laughs> well, that's that game, we man, oh, boy. Here we go. So why hasn't someone done that yet? That's I don't have. Pretty good idea. You know, I mean, yeah. But I don't. It's, I don't think it's. I mean, it's such a big process. Huh. The water's pretty dirty. Yeah, you'd have to filter it pretty pretty heavily. No way. Oh yeah. That's, mm-hmm. the, that's the point of the whole company. <laughs> you're drinking, drinking water. From, you're drinking the... <laughs> water from the Jordan authentically. Like, okay, you got a little bit of dirt in your mouth. That's the whole uh, point. I think. I think though, most people aren't going to be so nostalgic as you are. Uh, yeah. They're going to be like, I'm thirsty, and I don't want to drink this murky looking. This brownish water. What is this? You know, we are, though, when we go to Israel. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not I, drinking it. Oh, you're drinking it, Chris. Oh, no, We're man. drinking it side by side. Spend the next 10 days in the bathroom. Man. No, hey, well, listen, it's worth it. We're, you got to drink a little bit from your you hand. You said it's worse. You it's know it. you have to. A little. It's worth it. Oh, my God. You Where's know. John? Uh, he barely survived the trip. <laughs> right, John. Man, he got, he got a gulp in. <laughs> Come on, you got to drink it from your hands, just a little bit. Oh, gosh, just man. Gideon style, so you Ooh. can say you have. No kidding. You could be like, hey, I went to Israel and drank water from my hands from the Jordan. Oh. Come on. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, we'll see. What, if it's running, we'll see. If it's running. <laughs> Look, we don't want to be a bunch of softies with some sort of filter machine. You know, we're going to be filtering the water. God's going to be up there going, geez, guys, a bunch of softies. <laughs> Let me tell you, you know, why don't you guys go back and read the Bible where, you know, What's you, hey, softies, man. Jesus said in Matthew, I think it's, is it Matthew or is it Acts, is that you could drink any deadly poison and you'd be fine. Okay. So, All right. Yeah. Go yeah, with it. Thank you, Jesus. Go get it. Hey, <laughs> we'll, we'll pray beforehand and we'll be we'll be taken care of. <laughs> drink some arsenic with it. I'm just kidding. God wouldn't call us softies. <laughs> I've seen it in a bad picture. No, I think he'd laugh at us, but that's okay. <laughs> I was Yeah. Kidding. I think he would. He wouldn't call us softies, but I think I'd be. Come on, guys. I'm gonna stick with my come on. Water. Be, 
<laughs> yeah. Be uh, be more tough. Right. Yeah, Chase Durham, Torres, good morning. Thank you guys for joining us. Uh, we have Chris Willingham here, myself, Brian Knight. We are on Nehemiah chapter 12. Yeah. Uh, we do read out of the New Living Translation, mm-hmm. so open up your Bibles. Uh, Chris, since you're our special guest, yeah. do you want to pray it in? Sure. And I sure. have some water if you want to drink some here. Yeah, I guess no, not guess. from the Jordan, right? <laughs> is, it, is it filtered water? I'm not going to have to check it every time he asks <laughs> me about filtered that. Filtered water. <laughs> this is Greek. Good, good stuff. No label. Watch out. Yeah, yeah. just getting us ready for... <laughs> All right, let's pray. Uh, Father God, thank you for today. Uh, thank you for an early morning uh, and for friends and for the ability to, to be together and just read your word and enjoy it. Um, Lord, and even though we're jo- joking about drinking from the Jordan, we do want to drink deeply from your word this morning. Mm. And uh, because we know that that is what feeds our souls. And so, Lord, as we uh, open your word, as we dive in, um, let us uh, let us see truly who, who you are through your word and who we are uh, that it reveals our heart and soul, and uh, Father, that we could be more like you. So we ask that you would uh, move us today in Christ's name. Amen. Amen. Wow. Yes, amen. I love that. You know, we, we, we're talking about water, and we're talking about the Jordan, and, yeah. you know, kind of like you said, this the Bible is the water of our yeah. life. You it's know, water, man. Jesus is our, yeah. our yeah. water, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, yeah. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you know, he, another pl- in, in, it's John chapter seven. He says, uh, eventually, he goes, my, the whole goal here is so that the that out of your belly will mm. flow rivers of living water. Right. Mm. That's yep. his spirit. You know. Yep. That's right. So yeah. Praise God. That wa- that whole idea of the water is such a cool concept. Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. Well, who wants to kick it off for Nehemiah chapter twelve? Well, let's let's have. Let's have Chris do it. Now Chris All is right. here. He's in the house. Oh, I see why. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'll, I'll read 10 through 21. Okay, so I'll be one through We've got 10 some names here. And you can take back over. <laughs> We're one buckle up. Hey, everybody listening live, no going, no going to the kitchen, no going to the bathroom. <laughs> buckle your seatbelts. Yeah. The work in here. Here we go. Every name, you, you must follow along. There we go. Every name. It's here for a reason. Yeah, this is the greatest chapter in the Bible. That's right. If it was your name, you wouldn't want God to skip it. So, whoa, yeah, right? Right. Good point. John North. That's right. Super Jonathan David. David. Yeah, Jonathan David. <laughs> Jonathan the two David. friends. That's right. You know, I love that real quick. My ADD's kicking in. That's right. Because Jonathan and David were friends. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and they were. eat each other in this world. Yeah. You know, oh, we, yeah. we need to be friends. We need to stick together. I mean, look at Meg now on the chat board. Good morning, Meg. Yeah. You know. We got to stick together, guys. Absolutely. Spread the word and read mm-hmm. the word and study the word and praise and sing and yeah. dance for the Lord with all our might. All might. There you go. Oh, yeah. yeah. You yeah. know, I just think that's really special. Absolutely. I, I mean, if you think about it, like, uh, you guys have been on this journey for what, a year and April 11th? Six months, year and five months, four months? A year and four months? Four. Yeah. Yep. Okay. How, how far do you think you'd have made it if? If you weren't reading together, uh, one week. Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's uh, that may be generous in my case. I think. Okay. But, I, but, I don't know if me and Brian even had faith we'd actually get this far. Well, you mean that when you started it? No. Yeah. Yeah, but but because you're reading together and because you're 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 keeping each other accountable in it, mm. here you are a year and four months later, still moving. I love that, Chris. And by right. the way, you are too, because you yeah. text oh, me. I'm along with you. When oh, are we reading? Yeah, I'm, I'm right there. When's the next session? I look forward to it. Mm-hmm. You know? Dude. And no matter what time we throw, if it's 5.30 yeah. a.m., if it's evening, you're here. Yeah, I'm going to be there. So I mean, I'm just across the street. Interesting. You know, Jesus, sent, he sent the disciples out two by two. That's right. Not, not just one dude, you know. Yeah. It's a good, that's a good thought. Yeah. So we, we faith is meant to be done together. Mm-hmm. It's not an individual sport. Yeah. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Hey, remember those? Wow. F- remember those? The, Jesus looked up. He, and when he was in this house in Capernaum, he saw mm-hmm. five people, four of four friends, yeah, put, putting uh, wheeling down their fifth mm-hmm. friend who was crippled, and yeah. he was like, "Wow, look at those! Look at the faith of those four dudes. I love it. Mm-hmm. You, you know, yeah. you're whole and your sins are forgiven. So, you know, it's not just me." Right? right, my friends can help me out. They can have faith for me, and that's what that's what it's all about. Absolutely, Chris. Especially yeah. in hard times. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah, 
Yeah, when I'm struggling, it's, I can't believe, I can't see anything for, in the future, but you can for me. Yeah. Isn't that cool how God works? He doesn't He doesn't stop at you. Yeah. Yeah, what yeah. are the men who falls down and doesn't have another to lift him up? That's mm-hmm. actually scripture, yeah. Mm-hmm. What did Meg put down here? Meg just four twelve. Yeah, what does that say? For uh, Ecclesiastes? Or, Chris is, uh, Ecclesiastes 4.12. Chris is going for the phone there. I'm going for it. I want to say, oh, too, even when... When times are really I mean, good, friends can keep was. keep ten toes down. The yeah. one may be overpowered. Yeah. Two yeah. can defend themselves. Th- a three cord, a cord of three strands is not quickly broken. Well, that was going to be my that was yeah. going to be my answer on the Bible, the men's group the other night, and mm. my question I never got to answer it actually, but mm-hmm. I was so intrigued on everybody else's answers, and yeah. I go, my question was in our men's group. Is what do you do when you feel like the darkness is attacking mm-hmm. you, the demons are attacking you, and, or just the world is yeah. trying to pull you away from God? Yeah. And, mm-hmm. you know, my answer is call a brother. Mm-hmm. That's exactly right. You know, um, reach out, reach out to a sister. Yeah. Like Meg. That's right. Absolutely. Um, call you, Chris. Hey, let's read. Yeah. Brian, let's get an extra study in today. Yeah. Gather the troops. That's right. You know, David and Jonathan. That's right. Going yeah. there to say, hey, let's go kill some uncircumcised Philistines. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah. Well, let's cool. do it. Let's get, let's get, let's, uh, let's go get them. All right. Let's read. All right. I'm going to get back to Nehemiah just in case I need it here. And there we go. All right. Okay. So here we go. Nehemiah chapter 12. Here is the list of the priests and Levites who returned with Zerubbabel son of Sheltel, and Jeshua, the high priest. Sariah, Jeremiah, Ezra, Ezra, and Jeremiah, Ezra, Jeremiah. Amariah, Malak, uh, Hattush, Shechaniah, Haram, Merimoth, Edo, uh, Genethon, Abijah, um, Minim, Miniama, Miniamin, uh, Modai, Bilga, Shemaiah, Jorib, Jediah, Salu, Amok, mm. Hilkiah, and Jediah. Nice job, Chris. Yeah. Just got to go slow. That was great, yeah. <laughs> These were the leaders of the priest and their associates in the days of Jeshua. The Levites who returned with them were Jeshua, Benue, Cadmiel, Sherebiah, Judah and Mataniah, who with his associates in charge of the songs of thanksgiving. Mm. Their associates, Bakukai, Bakukaiah, and Uni, stood opposite them during the service. Mm. Interesting. Uni. Yeah, Uni. There's the record, and using the word associates, I haven't seen that before in this chapter or in this book. Huh. So these are worship guys? Yeah. Or priests. Yeah. yeah. I can't I told Brian I'm very excited. I I would love to pray with the Levite. <laughs> just I really just would. <laughs> I just would love to hold hands with a with a with a real bloodline Levite yeah. today. Yeah. And pray. Yeah. I just think that would be some a really cool experience. It'd be interesting just to and I wonder if the, you know, I, I would imagine Levites have prayers they say. You know what I mean? That, that's yeah. repetitious. Um yeah. Mm-hmm. They do. Yeah, I let them say their prayer, and then I'm gonna go, "Hey, Levi, we're gonna say a prayer for Jesus." <laughs> oh, yeah, you might be taken back by. He's gonna, gonna be like, "What well, happens?" I'm with you on Yahweh, but I'm gonna go. <laughs> I know, but we're gonna say a prayer about Jesus, <laughs> right. baby. We're gonna get yeah. connected here. See that, Brian? What I did there? I went full circle on him. And then who knows? Maybe that seed plants, yeah. and then that Levi, like five years later, yeah. says, "You know what? Yahweh, uh, Jesus." Yeah. Is Yeshua Mashiach. Yeah, that's right. Yeshua. I don't know. I said that before on the study, Brian. Yeah, maybe Israel or here in the States, but it would be yeah. it would be cool to hold hands with the Levi and do a prayer. Absolutely. I mean, you know, we worship the same God. Right. That's the thing. Amen. Uh, uh, mm-hmm. just, it's the same person. Absolutely. Yeah. That's right. Just to kind of say that, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that we join together. Yeah. Well, when we go to Israel, you're going to see them at the Wailing Wall. They're going to be there, the Southern Wall. So, but How do you know if they're Levites, though? Mm. Usually... A lot. Well, you don't necessarily know if they're Levites, but 
the Hasidic Jews, the ones who are who are really following the law, mm. uh, you'll see they have a certain type of hat they wear and ringlets, like ringlets of hair down the side of their face, because they're they're commanded to wear that. They also have yeah they, orthodox their hands and uh, and on I their see. hands little but, little and, containers. But does that mean they have the bloodline of their le- their legit Levites? Maybe not. More than likely, they don't know because the the Jewish people have been dispersed multiple times. And so mm-hmm. a lot of the ones who are in Israel now have come from, from Europe or from America. And mm-hmm. so they've been intermarried with a lot Interesting. of... Interesting, okay. There's very few that are that are pure bloodline, like from Israel back in right. the day. Right, like Jews. Levite, Levite. Because remember, they were gone for hundreds and hundreds of years yeah. from there. Interesting. They were expelled. They might keep records. You know, they're very meticulous about family records. Yeah. We know that reading the Bible with how precise... Mm-hmm. That's right. God is, especially with the ancestry. Yep. Which we've really lost track of as 2022 yeah. dudes from America. Yeah, as I was gonna say, as Americans, we're we're pretty much mutts anyway. Yeah. You know, we're, we're it's, it's really hard to track us. Although I spent a lot of money on a DNA test that was of no use to me at all. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, your Dean, I actually can tell you one for free. Yeah. Adam and Eve. There you go. See, or Noah. Wow. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, mine told me I was, you know. Norwegian and You're... Viking and Scottish. I'm like, yeah, I could have looked in a mirror and told you that. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, so you used to kill those Christians. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I'll give you a free DNA test right now, Adam and Eve. Oh my god! There you go. In that's the act- beginning, <laughs> you know what? That's a hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> give, give, yeah you, it was morning for ninety nine ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. Get your wallet out, Chris. And you get a free bottle of Jordan water. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. And Look. you have the opportunity to buy solar. You're, it's all yeah. good. <laughs> solar and Amway. Yeah. Oh, that's funny. Amway. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, right. man. Chat board, you guys still here? Let's keep going. a long time yeah. ago. Let's yeah. keep it going. Verse 10. 10. You want me to take it? I'll, I'll, take, I'll take 10 through something. Sure. Yeah. That way. Okay. Yeshua, the high priest, was the father of uh, Joachim. Joachim was the father of... Um, Elisha Beb, Shib, Shib, Eliashib was the father of Jaodia. Jaodia was the father of Jehonan. Jehonan was the father of Yo- Yaruda. Now, when Je- uh, Yehoiakim wa- was high priest, the f- family leaders of the priests were as followed. Mariah was the leader of the family of Sariah. Hananiah was a leader of the family of Jeremiah. Meshulam was a leader of the family of Ezra. Ezra. There we go. Jehoahan. Jehoahan was a leader of the family of Amariah. Jonathan. Jonathan was a leader of the family of Maluk. Yosef. See, notice I'm not pronouncing the J's. Look at you. You're getting fancy with the Joseph was the leader of the family of Shechaniah. Um... Adna was the leader of the family of Harim. Helkai was the leader of the family of Meramoth. Hey, Brian, is that Joseph, uh, first Pharaoh Joseph? No, this, that's way old. Yeah, I was going to say. Uh, yeah. I thought yeah, they might be recapping. That. like That guy's in heaven. Yeah. Or Abraham's supposed to be. Where he is. Uh, 16. Um, Zechariah was the leader of the family of it it do Meshulam was a family was a leader of the family of Genethon Genethon wow Zikri was a leader of the family of Abijah, uh, Abijah there was also a leader of the family of M- many a men mm-hmm. Piltai was the leader of the family of Moadiah Shemua was the leader of the family of uh, Bilga. Jehonanan was the leader of the family of Shemaiah. Shemaiah. Metanai was the leader of the family of uh, Yehoiarib. Ye- 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 <laughs> Usi was the f- leader of the family of Je- Jediah. Kalei Kale-ai was the leader of the family of Salu. Salu. Eber. Hey. Uh, Corey Eber was the f- leader of the family of Emak. Eshabiah was the leader of the family of Hilkiah, the high priest. 
Nathaniel was the leader of the family of Jediah. Jediah. Nice. Brian Knight. Hey. Hey. I'll read a couple more. <laughs> a record of the Levite families was kept during the years of uh, Elia she Sheib, uh, Jehoiada, Jeho Jehoiada, uh, Johanahan, Johanahan, and Yudia. Jeduia uh, served as high priest. Another record of the priests was kept during the reign of Darius the Persian. A record of the heads of the Levite family was kept in the book of the history down to the days of Jehonah and the grandson of Eliashib. Darius the Persian was uh, yeah. a good guy. He's the one that God appointed the king yeah. to uh, Eliashib. rebuild the wall. Eliashib, yeah. Ezra and Nehemiah. Cyrus and, uh, and yeah. Darius, yeah. Underworld. Cyrus, Darius, yep. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, these were the family, 24, these were the family leaders of the Levites. Heshat, um, Hashabiah, Hashabiah, Sherebiah, Yahu, Yeshua, popular name, uh, Beni, uh, Benuiai, Benuiai, uh, Ketamel, Ketamel, and other associates who stood opposite them during the ceremonies of praise and thanksgiving on section, one section responding to the other as commanded by David, the man of God. Inclu it inclu this included Mataniah, Bakbukiah, and Obadiah, probably the prophet. David always gets strong oh, ink. He does. He gets strong ink. I love what this says here. So these guys are, are leading worship, right? And and they right. apparently sit opposite of each other, facing each other, mm -hmm. and ba and using probably the Psalms, since this is David's instruction, they are singing to each other in response. Mm -hmm. Like when you go to a game and it's like, we got spirit, yes we do, we got spirit, how about you? You know, that's kind of the... Na, the, na, na, na. Yeah, they're, they're singing mm -hmm. the Psalms back and forth to each other. Right. That's... That's wait, kind wait, of a we, cool we've thing. We've really lost that as a society. Pastor <clears throat> Brett says all the time, you know, you go to a football game, like you're saying, or a soccer game. And you want to see praise and worship? Go to a football game. You know, and it's like, <laughs> why can't we fill up a stadium and sing for the Lord for <laughs> two hours? I, I used to, I used to, you know, with my student ministry, I used to joke. I was like, you know, we we pretend we don't understand worship in this country, but the guy who will stand in the church with his hands in his pocket silently during worship will be the guy who. Rips his shirt off and paints himself blue at the football game. Right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Right. <laughs> right. It, because we don't have a clear understanding of what we're worshiping. Mm -hmm. When we do, humans are built to do it. Yeah. You know. And yeah, so, absolutely. Absolutely. That's a well said, Chris. Yep. Yeah. You can't. You know. You got it. You got to. That's why you got to praise him with your whole heart. Yeah. And uh, uh, let me read the last uh, paragraph here. My Seven Eleven tattoo. <laughs> All right, I think I, sponsored? I think I get not seven. That came out wrong. Seven Eleven? You mean like the quarter store? No, I'm in line. Yeah, and there's a. I'll make this short. There's yeah. a big line behind me. Okay, ladies ringing me up, yeah. getting some energy drinks and like okay. a protein bar, and then my card approves. I take my card, I put my wallet. It's the time where I kind of grab the bag and say thank you. Yeah, it's kind of that whole like rhythm, right? Right. <laughs> thank you. Have a good day. You know, yeah. and she's just staring at her phone, and I. I'm kind of looking at my bag. I'm kind of grabbing it. I'm looking at the machine. I'm like, are we good? And she's yeah. like, one sec. I'm like, <laughs> okay. Finish that text like, up, lady. Did my credit card not work? <laughs> right. You mean the, okay. the lady checking you out here? Yeah, I'm like, do I oh need to call my, my mom right. for some money? Right. <laughs> <laughs> she's just waiting. She's, I mean, we're talking 30, 40 seconds. There's a long line behind me. I, and she's just I, on her phone. But she, you could tell she's really focused. Yeah. She's like almost there. I'm like, what does her phone have to do with 7-Eleven? Like, is her phone connected? Is she stealing my credit card? I don't know. So, you know, she she's fine. And then she smiles. And she just looks at me slowly. Crazy. And I'm looking at her like, what's happening? Or something? She goes, with all his might. <sighs> no way. She looks up your verse? She's looking up my, my arm tattoo. Oh, God. Oh, that's awesome. 
Samuel six fourteen. She was, <laughs> she goes, you gotta dance, baby, with all your might. Oh my god! You imagine if you would have got all mad at her. <laughs> and, I, and I go, you know it, baby. Every That's awesome. Day. She goes, oh honey, heck yeah, every day for the Lord. You know, she's go. kind of like a bigger black lady. Yeah, she's yeah. like, oh baby. So we start like yelling at each other, uh-huh. like we're all jacked up. Yeah. Come on, everybody in the line like, behind us is probably like, guys, can you? It's like move it along. Oh my god, it was cool. It's great. Well, that's Pretty crazy. crazy. Like that. Yeah. 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 That's crazy. That's crazy. I love there it. You go. Um, Meshulam, Talman, and Acab were the gatekeepers in charge of the storerooms at the gates. Twenty-six. These all served in the days of Joachim, son of Yeshua, son of Yehozadak, Yehozadak, and in the days of Nehemiah, the governor of and of Ezra. The priest and scribe. Oh. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Where are we at? Yep. 27. Seven. Okay. We're getting ready to you want me to read a little bit? Um, hey, hey, gotta, well, it's a big yeah. chapter. You've got a second here. The, you, know, you were asking about the Levites. Uh, so I looked up real quick. Okay. Apparently there are about 300,000 Levites. Okay. Um, in, the, in the greater uh, nation of Israel. And they make up about 4% of the population. Interesting. Yeah. So they have some way of tracking their lineage wow. back to say we are Levites. And they yeah. and they can bluntly say that, like they so. are yeah. fully confident. Yeah, with documents and everything, like Brian sure was saying. Are, yeah. Wow. So yeah. how many three thousand three hundred thousand about four percent? Yeah, of the Jewish population. <clears throat> now, so, I'm sure that's globally. It's probably not just in Israel. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I wonder how what's the population in America? I don't know. Probably pretty big. America has a pretty pretty large Jewish population. Yeah. So, in fact, we were in New York a few years ago. We we go to New York periodically just because of, our kids like to go there and stuff. And so we we've been a couple of times. Yeah. And we where we stayed the first time was like thirty third, thirty fourth Street. There's a Jewish like there's a hospital there and a school and all that. So everywhere we went, we saw these Hasidic Jews everywhere. Everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Orthodox Jews are walking around. And it was like really cool. Was like, oh this wow. Is awesome man. Yeah, that's <laughs> so, awesome. Yeah. So that's so cool. You got pockets of you know of yeah communities. Yeah, yeah. Well, it was kind of like Joe Senate Brian in his area and mm-hmm. all that. But that's that's amazing. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's cool. Uh, all right, it, just to let you know, it is a Wednesday, and I have a I have to take Kate in like twenty minutes. Oh, okay. oh we got twenty oh, yeah. minutes. Stuart Young, good morning. <coughs> Stuart, has, yes. Yeah, Kate has a uh, Chris. Kate, my uh, she started volleyball, so she, so oh, I take her to. Yeah, she has practice at six thirty. Played volleyball God, in okay. college a little bit, so I love there it. There we go. Volleyball. All right, well, let's get to it. Then we're on 27. Yeah, 27. I will read a few chap- uh, paragraphs Verses. here. All right. I'll jump uh, in after you. Nehemiah 12, 27. Here we go. For the dedication of the new wall of Jerusalem, the Levites throughout the land were asked to come to Jerusalem to assist in the ceremonies. I like how they're, we're, we're celebrating the, the wall being rebuilt. Yeah. You know, it's nice. They were to, they were to take part in the in the joyous occasions occasion with their songs of thank thanksgiving and with the music of cymbals, harps, and lyres. The singers were brought together from the region and around Jerusalem and from the villages of the Net. Tephathias. Netopathites. 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 29. They also came from Beth, Gilagal, and the rural areas near Geba and Azmezeth. For the singers had built their own settlements around Jerusalem. Hmm. The priests and Levites first purified themselves. Yeah, right. Then they purified the people, the gates, and the wall. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah, a big deal here. This is this means yeah. So it's ready. It's all purified. Ready yeah. to be dedicated. Chris, you take it from here. Okay. I'm not a good reader in the morning. <laughs> it's rough in the morning. Uh, I led the leaders of Judah to the top of the wall and organized two large choirs to give thanks. One of the choirs proceeded southward. Uh, along the top of the wall to the dung gate, uh, Hoshiah and half the leaders of Judah followed them, along with Azariah, Ezra, Hoshiah. Meshulam, Judah, Benjamin, Shemaiah, and Jeremiah. Then came, then some priests who played trumpets, including Zechariah, son of Jonathan, 
son of Shemaiah, son of Mataniah, son of Micaiah, son of Zachur, a descendant of Asaph. Wow, that was a long one for just one guy. Uh, and right. Zechariah's colleagues were Shemaiah, Azrael, Azrael, uh, Milali, Milali, uh, Gilali, oh, may I, may I, I yeah, may I, yeah, Nathaniel, Judah, and Hanani. Nothing they else. used the musical instruments prescribed by David, the man of God. Ezra the scribe led this procession. At the fountain gate, they went straight up Six the steps 11. on the ascent of the city wall toward the city of David. They passed the house of David and then proceeded to the water gate on the east. Mm. The second choir, giving thanks, went north around the other way to meet them. I followed them together with the other half of the people along the top of the wall, past the tower of the ovens to the broad wall, then past the Ephraim gate into the old city gate, past the fish gate and the tower of Hananel, and on to the tower of the hundred. Then we continued on the sh onto the sheep gate and stopped at the guard gate. Okay, so they're making a circle around the city. In two mm -hmm. It's nice. The two choirs that were giving thanks then proceeded to the temple of God where they took their places. So did I, together with a group of leaders who were with me. We went together with a trumpet-playing priest, uh, Elikim, Messiah, Messiah, uh, Menayaman, Micah, Elioni, Zechariah, and Hanani. Can I interrupt you real quick? Yeah, good. It's interesting here that the trumpets mm -hmm. tore, pushed the wall over. Yeah. For them to oh, attack good. victory. In mm -hmm. and, yeah, in Jericho. And then nice. here we're using the trumpets for celebration of the wall. It's a good point. Of God. It's a good point. On top of the wall, celebrating. Still marching around the wall. And they're actually they're going in purpose. circles, right? Yeah. It's very similar to Jericho here, but it's God is for it. Yeah. And then, and very good. Very cool. That is a nice, I like that. I didn't even think about that. It was great, John. Way to go, man. Oh, good yeah. insight Just there. Kind of something to kind of ponder throughout the day today of why do you yeah. think the Lord is using the same victory tact, war tactic. Right. Right. With celebration of, of the, it's, it's the wall falling for victory, yeah. and this is the wall being built for victory. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Very cool. I like that. There's probably a sermon in there somewhere, man. You oh, hey, yeah. Let's go. <laughs> um, so, oh, and Hananiah and the singers. Uh, Messiah, Shemaiah, Eliezer, Uzi, Jehohanan, uh, Melchizedek, it's probably Melchizedek, uh, Elam, and Ezer. They played and sang loudly under the direction of Jezariah, the choir director. So you got a choir director there. There you go. Many sacrifices were offered on that joyous day to God, for God had given the people cause for great joy. The women and children also participated in the celebration, and the joy of the people of Jerusalem could be heard far away. Beautiful. So Think you got to wonder that. if all those people who were against them now are thinking, are you hearing that, boys? They finished. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Think about just being off in the distance and hearing the celebration so far away. Right. You know, right. Echo echoing throughout the land. Right. It's pretty cool. Wow. Very oh. cool. From far away. Well, yeah. Can you imagine? They. I mean, you have this. You have everybody uh, marching. It's on a hill. Right. Yeah, you probably can see it happen from far away as well. Yeah. Pretty a cool situation. Yeah. Yeah. You got three valleys that intersect right there, in Jerusalem. Mm-hmm. They, they keep doing all that so they could hear up those valleys. All right, Brian Knight, you want to slam sure, down? Sure, yeah. Paragraph here. Yep, uh, provisions for the temple worship. 44, on that day, men were appointed to be in charge of the storerooms for the offerings, the first part of the harvest, and the tithes. They were responsible to collect from the fields outside the town the portions required by the law for the priests and Levites. For all the people of Judah took joy in the priests and Levites and their work. Got to love that. They took joy in the in the uh, priests and Levites and in their work. Yeah. Uh, 45, they performed the service of their God and the service of purification as commanded by David and his son Solomon. And so did the singers and the gatekeepers. The custom of having choir directors to lead the choir choirs and hymns of praise and thanksgiving to God began long ago in the days of David and Asaph. So now, in the days of Zerubbabel 
and of Nehemiah, all Israel brought a daily supply of food for the singers, the gatekeepers, and the Levites. Interesting, it's a daily supply that tells me that they sang all day, every day. Yeah. Yeah, they uh, they all had their, uh, you know, I'm sure the trumpeter, the trumpeteers were playing and so on. They all had their, what a, what a, what a time these guys are having. At their needs so they could continue to do what they did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, and here we go. The Levites, in turn, gave a portion of what they received to the priests, the descendants of Aaron. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Beautiful. And, and I like Meg's comment here on the chat board. She says, what a beautiful noise mm. yeah. the celebration must must have been. You know, oh, yeah, absolutely. Great. You know, I was thinking, too, they were talking about as the way David prescribed it. So they're constantly thinking about King David in this worship process. And uh, as much as you know, I'm looking forward to going to Jerusalem and walking some of those footsteps that, you know, look, okay, Jesus walked here. We don't know where exactly, but he would have walked here. That's going to be really cool. Imagine they've got to be feeling the same way about David. Mm. You know, mm. that hundreds of years ago, David did this, and we're, we're emulating what he did. So true. People who are thinking about it that day, this is what David did. This is what, you know. Oh, that's a good point. That's no kidding. Good point. And you know they had all heard these stories. Oh, yeah. The yeah. rumors, the, all the, oh, my gosh, this guy is the man. I mean, he defeated Goliath, you know. Oh, mm-hmm. uh, so cool. So cool. Yeah, there's and, already so much history at this point, you know. Right. And, and well known history. Yeah. Oh, yeah. A little folklore, a little everything. Like this guy was like, you know, high and lifted up second, of course, to Almighty God. Well, I like that too, Absolutely. because even in verse uh, toward the end of 24, you know, as commanded by David, the man yeah. of God. I mean, they don't just say David. Right. David, the man, the of, man God. of God. Yeah. So, like I said, he's he gets, David gets strong ink yeah. here. Yeah. Yep. Well, remember in, um, I mean, it's written in in um, the Chronicles that David was um, was basically perfect in all the things of the Lord except for one murder. So he had, yeah. <laughs> well, it would, it yeah. It said the, in in the things concerning Bathsheba, so that was a, uh, adultery and murder. But look, I mean, uh, he literally is the example. I mean, he created the, an entire book of music dedicated. You know, to the Lord, the Book of Psalms. For the most part, it's it's all of David's work. There's a few of Moses' writings in there. Um, So he going back to everyone has a role. uh, Discuss the other day. day. Yeah, talking about the Levites and all the and their their role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the priests and the song worshipers. Yeah, I mean, our modern version of that would be our pastoral leaders in our churches today. That's kind of our, and I, you know. I've been on staff, and and I've heard people say, you know, why do we pay the staff so much money? Well, we really don't. I promise we don't make that much. <laughs> you know, I've, uh, nobody, well, at least none of the churches I've served in, nobody's getting rich off of it, you know what I mean? But one of the reasons is is kind of what's going on here. Look, we've got to be able to raise our families and not have to struggle to do that. And that frees us up to be able to do this full time, to be able to, to, to arrange things, put things together, to make it all work, you yeah, know? I like that. Um, and so I, I, I really, I really have trouble with people griping about staff members. And I mean, I guess you do have some people who are making exorbitant amounts of, amount of money where they're, they've got a poor congregation and that's not right. But I think for the most part, that's not true mm-hmm. for most staff members. Yeah. And I think to go all the way full circle, it's like the very beginning of the podcast. If we had a, even though we were kind of having fun, it, it's it's an interesting topic with the Jordan River. You know, I kind of said in my heart, I felt like mm-hmm. if we profited off the Jordan, yeah. I almost feel like I would feel bad about that. It, it's, I don't know how I'd feel about that. If we bottled Jordan water, mm-hmm. kind of like Fuji water, right? Right. right. It's from Fuji or Fiji, <laughs> Fiji, water, Fiji yeah. whatever. You know, bottling Jordan saying, hey, buy it. It's like profiting off that would make me feel kind of strange in a way. Okay, so let me ask you this. So but let's, let's, let's dig to the bottom of that. If you I were a Brian's farmer, gotta go here. Yeah, if you were a farmer and you raised grain and you sold that grain, you didn't make that grain. That's God's grain. Yeah. It's his earth that grew it. It's his rain that fell on it. Yeah. It's his grain. It's his idea. And yet you're profiting from it. Is um, that wrong? Okay. Wow. Because that's look, it's right. God's and he's he's given it to us mm-hmm. and said and do with it what you have to to live, you know? Yeah, but I guess you'd be marketing the water yeah, as the water of yeah, God. Yeah, that would probably be 
a step too far. <laughs> right. It's, well, the, well, that's the first part. That's the first we've heard about the motivation of how you, you're selling it. Right. Right. Yeah. Jordan yeah, yeah. water. <laughs> Jordan water. This water is from the Jordan. Yeah. It's the water of God. But it's all the water of God. It is. It is all the water of God. You're right. <laughs> right. It's, yeah. It, it says. Yeah, it's, it, he it's says. Yeah. That's right. You, we. That's how we honor God, and whatever we take from His earth, we tithe it. You know, we, the, we give back. Of we, course. Well, we give back because right. it's His anyway, and yeah, we're just acknowledging that through the tithe. Right. Well, it's an interesting topic. I like. Well, that. We should. We should talk about a tithe one like day. Tithe. You guys. It's a, very, it's a very interesting New Testament concept. Is it? Oh, <laughs> let's go, baby. Yeah. There you go. Is it really? It's. It's. Oh, anyway. It's, yeah. It's, it's interesting, uh, John, because it's. It all boils down to this, your heart. Mm-hmm. Look, why would God be mad at you for wanting to, to share a monumental moment in the life, in the history of the world, mm-hmm. right? Now, if you want, if you're thinking, oh, I, I, this is a money, I can make money. Oh, man, I could get rich, baby. No, but if you just want to be like, I want to celebrate the Jordan. And how I want to, yeah. yeah, it's in the heart. It all comes down to one thing, your heart. What is your motivation? And is it to, to lift up the King of Kings? And then that's that's a good thing. Just like the just like the sushi thing. Right? It's a motivation of the heart. Now, if you're greedy and you're, you know, I'll do this because it's my my idea, and it's I'll cut, get the fish and I'll wrap it in rice. No, it's a heart thing. It's all a heart thing, right? What's your motivation? And if it's selfish, I think you're right, because you could use the Jordan water to plant seeds with people, right? Because if you're just a, a non-believer mm-hmm. and you're at 7-Eleven and you're like, Jordan water, mm-hmm. what is this? All yeah. of a sudden you Google it. Then you start reading yeah. about yeah. the Jordan and yeah. the journey and everything it's connected to and the sentimental yeah. value and the history. All of a sudden now you're literally that person is in their car reading the Bible. Right. That, and, that's a whole thing right there. Seeds. And, and, and I, I, it all goes back to what Brian said. You're dead on, Brian. It is about the heart. It is about what your emotives and intentions are. That's that's what. All, for instance, I've got a, a canister in my office over there that some some of my church members brought back for me from uh, from the Normandy Beach, Beach of Normandy. Okay. Oh Martin yeah. Served and he wow. was on the first wave into Normandy. Oh my gosh. And they they brought it back when they came over. So I've got a little vial of sand over there. I'm like, that's really cool. But if I got a little vial of the Jordan, brought it back, which I probably will, <laughs> if they'll allow yeah. us to do that. The problem is, what if I brought that back and everybody was like, oh, Jordan water. And I just, and I honored so you it start and observed praising it. Start it. To, yeah, we start to make an object out of uh-huh. it. Not good. That's a no, golden calf. That's a, right. Now, if I go, hey, right. look, cool, I got some Jordan water up here. That's really awesome. Yeah, let me tell you about the Jordan. Let me tell you about the Jordan. Right. It's exactly. not the Jordan. It's, it's, it's the God. story of it's God. But yeah, we can start praising the object. Interesting. And that's a hard problem right. there. Right. And that's it's hard. the same thing when, when you hold hands, when you one day, which is going to happen, you hold hands with a Levite. That Levite's not that special. Right. It's the story right. of where he came from and where we came from and who we worship. Right. Now, don't get me wrong. We're all special. And he has a role to play. I mean, technically he doesn't, but you know what I'm saying? We, we all, Jesus is the real Levite. Yes. Now in, in, <laughs> from the tribe of Judah, but you know what I'm saying? Post Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh man. It's middle of Jesus, yeah. right? Cause he's coming back. Yes. So we're in the middle, middle era here, yeah. Yeah. which is an interesting we're time in to live. Resurrection but, uh, era. Yeah. Wow. What a great conversation in the morning. Yeah. yeah. Fun well, one. Yeah. It's all about the heart and, uh, these yep. conversations. I enjoy reading and I, and I really truly enjoy having these conversations. Yeah, they're great. How's it going, Kate? You ready? Okay. It makes it come to life. It, it, well, I got, I got to, you got to go, but Chris, yeah. you made a point about if they allow us, look, we're sneaking that stuff out. Okay. <laughs> we're, we might get caught, you know, it's, <laughs> it's like Wolf of wall street when they're tying the money to his girlfriend <laughs> at the end there. All those trips. We're going to have sand. going to be our water. water. <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right awesome we got to go brian's got to get out of here thank you guys for listening let's yeah. pray it out real quick i want to pray it out dear yeah. lord um just thank you for bringing us together jesus we love you with all of our hearts and we worship you we love you we dance for